Greetings everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, which we are using the Gross Deutscher Bund mod. I'm of course Herr Mokolover, but we have the Baltic response. Given their desperate and encircled situation between us and the Soviet Union, they opted for the lesser evil. Lithuania went along with the restoration of the Commonwealth. Poland did, its, did hold its promise and returned the Memeland back to us. Now this, our eastern borders, are finally restored. Wow! And they automatically become the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Not bad. Uh, we have a couple comments to go through as well, but... Uh, yeah, this is kind of ugly. But actually, are they in our faction? No, they're not. That's kind of sad. But the Swiss are in our faction, which is pretty good for us. The Soviet response. So our actions in the Baltics do not go unnoticed. The Soviet Union exploited the situation and setting the protection of Russian citizens from the royalist resurgence. Goodbye, Baltics. Well, at least we have Poland here to kind of keep things under wraps. Wow, there is quite a few different states here. Niesen, Lutz. But we have the German-Hungarian alliance, my friends, which we're going to keep beelining down this the right side of the tree here. Discuss the future of Czechoslovakia, a Balkan alliance? Hmm, maybe not a bad idea. Consolidate the boon, but discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. That nation is a weird construct that resulted from the humiliating peace deals of World War I. It is neither an ethnostate, nor a national state, nor a geographical, geographical solution, but just a whimsical idea of the Entente powers. It's time to find a sustainable solution for the region. We're still building up a lot more factories. At this point, we only have 100 factories at the beginning of 1938. Now, we got to finish producing all the stuff down here. we got plenty of guns, which is great, but we got to keep a good reserve of it. And I want to get more fighters and close air support. Got to keep a lot of that stuff. What do we have over here? Ah, cheaper guys. That's good. Uh, military factories actually would be really good because we will need to build them. Ah, uh, Borman, Hess, Himmler, um, G, uh, JG, Dr. JG. <sighs> it feels weird seeing them after playing so much TNO. <laughs> Elusive Gentleman would not be bad either, so. Um, I can think, like I said, I think I'm going to wait to do that stuff, so. Republican victory. Oh, Republican victory in Spanish Civil War. Spain is looking for allies. After the Spanish Civil War, Spain is looking for allies that could help us eliminate or uh, any other resurgence of radicals in Spain and supply them with weapons for further ambitions. Rumors have said it that they're in talks with the Soviet Union. Oh, Franco, you're so useless. But well, they are democratic. Well, I mean. Maybe we could have helped them out, but 1938. Let's see, we're doing research, we're doing radar, which is nice. Anything else? We could use more fuel, that's going to be pretty important. I'm going to grab the one that takes a little bit more time than normal, so that's good with us. And we're building military factories, and we're building civvies at the same time, which I think is a great idea. Now, how's this going to work out? I'm probably going to have to end up going to war with France and the Soviet Union at the same time, probably. I want to, I want to know what happens between the Allies, though, and the French, because they're not guaranteeing France anymore. Now, I can't justify on anybody, which really sucks, because democracies can't justify on anyone, which I think is dumb, but whatever. <clears throat> We're still early mobilization. Let's see, it's 38. Getting tanks is not a bad idea. Anything around here? We are slowly running out of manpower, which we will need more. Um, actually, oh, I need to adjust these divisions too. One, two. Actually, just give me, suck all. Give me half you guys. There you go. Give me one more guy here, for two. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Uh, we still have the political power. Uh, do we want... Oh, the Conference of Prague. Not bad. I would like the Conference of Prague. You guys do that. You guys go ahead and get... Uh, Gotthard Henrici. As well as... Est Eberhard Hell. The Conference of Prague. Delegate Germany, Austria, Poland, and Hungary have gathered to find a solution for the Czechoslovakian state. <clears throat> We're all constituents having serious interest in the dissolution of the artificial state. While Austria and Germany want to achieve the return of former lands of the first Deutsche Bund, Hungary wants to undo the losses of the Treaty of Trina. Poland has an agenda of her own as well. May the conference begin. Well, first week. All right. Well, I want to see if anything was going to happen, so whatever. Invite one or more members into a here. I don't want more daily democracy support. Balkan Roy Al? You get a lot Slavian response. Well, Balkan Alliance. Bulgaria is a perfect candidate for ambitions. Much like Hungary has its own ambitions and is quite unsatisfied with the results of the Balkan Wars. Most importantly, its ambitions synergize very well with those of our eastern, other eastern allies. So, actually, where are my tanks at? So, light tanks. Do I even want to use motor... Uh, not motorized, but... Uh, heavy, medium tanks? Hmm. I mean... It's 38, almost 39... What is the production requirements for heavy tanks? What am I looking over there? They need 
steel and tungsten. How much tungsten do we have? We don't have any. Screw it. I'm only going to use light tanks until we have uh, modern tanks. It's max speed. Well, why not? Henshaw. I usually like using Polish, I believe. Or even Amon, but whatever. <clears throat> Results of the first week. All participants quickly secured the best claims. The first few articles read as follows. Southern Slovakia and the Carpathian parts of Ukraine will be returned to Hungary. Zauzi will become part of the Polish state, the Sudetenland, land, and Pressburg will return to the Deutsche Bund under the control of Austria. Easy pickings to see what the week two brings. Wow. And they get that as quarters, not bad. A comment in grows. Today, Spain and the Soviet Union announced closer relations and mutual assistance. No oh, will. And is Austria Austria's not yet a part of us. And Bulgaria has to be in a faction with us. Right, deep in the thingy, Gross Deutscher Bund. Germanic neighbors. Let's do that one. The Germanic nations of Europe are all natural allies. They have a similar culture and similar language. But are also constant bastion in Europe against the radical threats. We must strengthen our bounds and begin building new bridges. That's not a bad idea. Results of the second week. Thanks to our peaceful management of the German Reich, uh, German Polish relationship, and the friendly outcome of the Danzig exchange, we have much better position during the talks. Poland does not press any further claims as, we, as it trusts our judgment. This enables us to fully annex Bohemia and Moravia. Therefore, we are able to give the rest of Slovakia to Hungary, and which will strengthen our bond while all nurtures their ambitions. What a wonderful world! A result. A toast to our new friends. All right, cool. So they got this. It's not. Oh, it is cord. God, I need Austria in this. Well, that sounds very weird, but that looks really actually not too bad. I like that there's almost a solid line here. That's actually pretty nice. Now, if they were in an alliance, that'd be so much better, though. If I, oh, we can do this. Invite Hungary. Balkan Union. Yeah, invite both. Use German city names. Oh, what do we get for this? Ah, yeah. Torn and Bromberg. And, okay, so we got some comments as well. Integrate Spa. Huh. Kingdom of Hungary joins the European vanguard. Today, the representatives of the Kingdom of Hungary and Deutsche Bund have met in Brandenburg to ceremoniously sign several treaties that regulate cooperation and mutual military assistance. The meeting was concluded with a symbolic handshake of Mikolaus Horthy and August von Maxen. Together, we shall have, we shall withstand anything. Better write down, not bad. All right, thirty-eight. Still, we can grab some of this stuff, which I kind of want some mechanizer or something like that. Uh, anything else over here? Field hospitals. Let's grab some field hospitals for infantry. That's going to be pretty important. Go ahead and train. Von Rundstedt. Anything else here? Eh, maybe we'll choose that stuff, but we'll see. We definitely have enough command power. Uh, what about over here? Uh, go with Scavenger. I want to get take as much stuff as we possibly can from enemies. Go with Winter Expert for him, because he can. Uh, what was I going to look at? There's something else I was going to look at here. I forget. I forget. Mm, Germanic neighbors are not bad. Swamp Germans. Scandinavian cousins. Land purchase. <coughs> Network research would not be bad. Balkan Royale. Pressure Yugoslavia. <coughs> hmm. Well, we don't have Romania on our sides. Uh, I kind of like Balkan Royale. Our allies in the Balkans have grown in strength and their ambitions are looking towards Yugoslavia. Given our and their current position, we feel very confident in resolving the Balkan question once and for all. Split them up. Now, we don't have Romania on our side, but we do have Bulgaria. But we don't have Austria, which is a big sadness. The Balkans are in motion once more. Given the general feeling of change caused by the recent treaties around Europe, the reawakened Hungary has seen up with Poland to exploit the weakness of Romania. Internal struggles within the Romanian government has led their, their neighbors to press territorial claims accompanied by amassing their troops at the borders. Romania has decided to appease them during this time of national unrest. Opportunities everywhere. Oh, look at that. Nice. Just giving our allies more territories. Soviet invasion in Bessarabia. Troubling news reached us that the Soviet Union, inspired by recent events, decided to get its share and started to invade the borders of regions of Romania. It looks like they made secret deals with, or secret deals with Bulgaria because there are several reports of movements along the border as well as small skirmishes in Dobrugia. Alright, not bad. That's actually pretty ugly. Yeah, that's actually pretty darn ugly. Wow. Hungary mobilizes troops. What started as a small daily Balkan business has turned into a race against time. The fights alongside the southern and eastern borders have left Hungarian borders undefended. Empowered by recent gains, the Hungarian high command decided to intervene and occupy their main claims. It seems like jingoism spreads like a wildfire. Oh, they just give it to him, man. Oh, man, oh, man. <clears throat> uh, it's still the generic folk... No, well, it's not a generic focus tree, but the same old, same old Hungarian focus tree. Third partition of Romania. Unable to defend Romania from all fronts against this unformal war without a declaration of war, surrender to Bulgaria. Hoping not to fall in the hands of the Soviets entirely. Who will be the next victim of Soviet aggression? 
Wow! Holy cow, what the heck? <clears throat> well then, we still can't reach them, but it's weird to see Hungary and Bulgaria touching borders. They're touching, disgusting. After the surrender of Romania, Bulgaria annexed the core territories of Romania. The secret agreements between them and the Soviet Union are only, only included the Brugia. Now the Soviets demanded the Romanian lands north of the Danube for themselves as agreed. Finding some form of unity in this threat, the government in exile of Romania has decided to join Bulgaria, therefore forming the Balkan Union. They've asked us to help. If we do not act now, we risk the Soviet Union gaining a dangerous amount of influence in the Balkans. The yeah, Soviets have to be stopped. Uh, political shift in Hungary, though. <clears throat> After the successful reintegration of Hungarian lands once more, and more people are satisfied with the status quo, less people are inclined now to follow the right-wing parties and instead want to model their new system after the great democracies like Germany and England. It deprived the, the fire fuel it stops burning. Okay, then. Not bad. Not bad at all. I just hope we have enough divisions for this. <laughs> oh, man. Um, heavy ship, eh, stuff is okay. We need just more factories, more factories going, 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 going. Uh, let's go with two there. I'm going to cut you down to five for now, because we got to spread the love a little bit more. Grab one thing of uh, this from Portugal, that'd be good. Uh, rubber, already importing some rubber, but at another Balkan conference. Given our strong presence and allies in the Balkans, we were able to heavily influence the outcome of this conference. The goal is to further unify the region into the Balkan Union. We should take care of our other territorial claims first, though. Let's start with the obvious, the big breakup of the Yugoslavians. As well as deepen our ties, yes, please. Recent developments have shown that our countries are well capable of not only coexisting but also mutually benefiting each other. It's time to make our partnership known to the world. Hopefully, we can convince these guys to join us, even though I kind of prefer them by there. But the surrounding towns or powers have agreed to partition parts of Yugoslavia to satisfy their territorial claims. Slovenia will be returned to the Deutsche Bund. The Mitchell will fall into the hands of Italy, and the Banat region will once again be part of the Hungarian state. Excellent. Okay, that's not too bad. They're actually united here, which is not bad. Um, did Bulgaria get anything, though? The final act. <clears throat> There's one last thing. Italy, as well as the Balkan Union, demands from each other to relinquish the remaining claims. The Union feels Dalmatia and Albania still as a central part of the region, but Italy wants those claims gone. In return, Italy now demands Montenegro. Although the Balkan Union, a Balkan Union is our ally, we should consider taking the side of Italy if we do not feel onto the field mutilated again. Support the claims of Italy? <clears throat> We're going to Balkan Union. I don't care. Uh, Italians will probably... Wow! Holy crap! Mm -hmm. This is a disgusting flag! Holy smoke knows. I forgot that Bulgaria got a unique focus between the battle for the Bosporus. Wow! Uh, don't tell me this is all core... This is all... Co oh, man. They're, uh, they're not... They're a pretty regional uh, power, I would say. Them and Hungary? Now they're looking pretty thick. That's not bad. Deep in Ataz, though. Deep in Ataz. Consolidate the boond. Well, I want to do network just because that might be good for research. We should restructure our research and form new structures with our new allies over time. Hopefully we can integrate these guys. I would really like that, but we'll see what happens. Anything else around here? Integrate East Physia. Uh, invite the Commonwealth. Ah, yes. And we do have the Magino line, which is really good for us. Post them in... Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth joins the European Vanguard. Today, representatives from the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth and Deutsche Bund of Men and Brandenburg did a ceremoniously sign several treaties that regulate cooperation and mutual military assistance. This meeting is concluded with a symbolic handshake of Ignacy Mucici, Musiki, and August von Mackensen. Together, we shall withstand anything. The Unholy Alliance. Our recent actions have made it Italy so desperate they have considered their stance. Given the overall situation in Europe, Mussolini decided that they should work together with the communists to eliminate the royalists right across Europe. This would also bring them much closer to the strategic goal of completing Northeast Africa as well as the Balkan coastline. Oh god. If that's the case, we gotta deploy way more soldiers. Oh, he's been assassinated. Soon after the announcement of the Italian-Soviet partnership, lots of former supporters of Mussolini left his side. Some radicals even attempted an assassination attempt which severely injured Mussolini. The doctors did their best, but had to announce his death on the following morning. El Duce ha morto. You get what you get for dealing with the devil. Also, I did make some garrison divisions. They just helped put down resistance and such, so... Um, hmm. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and start like, making six divisions here. We're going to be running out... We don't have enough factories. 
the Italian Civil War, following the turmoil caused by the death of Mussolini and suing power vacuum ba radical communists, supported by French and Soviet agents that proclaimed their socialist Italian Union. Fascist elements have centered around Palermo and an attempt to free Italy of communist influence. We could use this as to place Victor Emmanuel in charge. His popularity could receive lots of support and thereby unify the counter communist elements. This would cost us valuable resources and might escalate the situation if the Soviet Union interferes as well. We must interfere. Our only muster troops for protection mission in Istria. We're going to interfere. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty good, huh? That does not look good. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ferruccio Pari. Huh. Hmm, alright, well, whatever. Hopefully they win. Actually, how strong are they? Wow, we don't have a lot of political power now, do we? Uh, manpower... Actually, they, the communists have less manpower. Computer machine, yeah, that's weird. Uh, roughly the same about industry. Roughly the same. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. They just have a lot less territory. Alright, it's still 38. Let's go and grab some more of this. Boop, infantry equipment. Uh, I gotta get to do some comments too. Someone said disable speeches. Well, basically disable speeches. It's hard to hear the speeches in the background. It's kind of annoying. I will. I forgot to do that when I started re-recording this, so... My apologies. Uh, I'll disable it hopefully the next time we do this. But consolidate the boom. The German boom has been reforged and grown since then. Before we can tackle further steps which would determine common laws and vows, we have to resolve the question of leadership. <clears throat> A boon menba. Elections in Hungary. The cause for a new system has been heard. Today, many Hungarians cast their first vote on the road towards a democracy. Plans for a final constitution are still vague, but the cornerstones have already been agreed upon. Let's enter congratulations. Good job, Hungary. Good job. The Republic of Hungary. Wow. Arpad Skatsits? Sadkatsits. Alright, whatever. Cool. 16 divisions? Not... Not a lot. But this is looking pretty nice. With having the Greater Balkan Union is actually pretty nice here. Just because... Oh, oh, they have Southern... They have Sicily, too. Um, that's actually a regional superpower, so... Well, not a superpower, but a power. They just have a claim and a core. Oh, man. Keep building stuff, guys. Keep building, 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 building. There you go. Motorized, not bad. Planes? I did want to get a lot more planes as well, but... We'll have to wait and see. And we did some carrier stuff, too, coming along, right? Yeah, eventually. We gotta look at this stuff. <clears throat> Mobile infantry, not bad. Let's grab some mass motorization for more organization. That'll help us out. We do have three tank divisions, so... Monstrand's a pretty good general. Ah, uh, further collaboration, uh, centralization. Recent developments have shown that our nations must work more together than ever before. In order to be a more effective body, we have to resolve the leadership question. The only other option apart from us would be Austria, who spearheaded the first boond. Ever since then, uh, power equilibrium has been achieved. It's only fair that the successor of Prussia now gets his turn. Ein Vision, Ein Volk, Ein Bund. Now that's what exactly what we wanted. <clears throat> Bundesverfassung. <clears throat> Now that it's clear that who will lead the boon, it's time to undertake further steps towards unification. It is time for things to return to normality. Mackinson has served as well, but he's a warrior and not a politician. We need a different kind of guidance now. Let's start this process by passing a new modern constitution which will be valid for the entire confederation. And get more stability too, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> it's really sad that the game didn't allow us to have a special law for these guys. Um for us to do anything, but uh, today the Soviet Union announced that they will officially support the Italian Union to put an end to the, yet another civil war. I wish we kept those guns. Well, whatever. Oh, they're both guarantee, huh? Alright, whatever. Good luck, Italian Union. Because we only have 114 factories, which is not very good. I'm going to grab this too. We're going to need as much fuel as possible. Are we still training our ships? Somewhat, somewhat, somewhat. Oh, uh, guys, go right there. There you go. How are our, our planes? You guys are doing pretty okay. Let's see, you guys are doing okay as well. Do we not have enough tactical bombers, which makes sense? Fighters, let's deploy some more. Alright. Next research will be done now. Field hospitals will be very, very important. 38, let's grab you. But do we even have enough support equipment right now? No, we don't. We got enough motorized, which actually I'm going to lower it down to one because we don't have enough factories for anything yet. Uh, Fourth International. Well, we're going to need more guns too, so it's unfortunate. 
Yeah, well, by us not annexing Austria, I feel pretty somewhat limited, actually. Go and do that. I got three full lines of 15 factories each, though. Yeah, it, that, I think it's a big mistake that we can't send volunteers. There should be something that we could just, as the only nation, because they're fighting so many different people now. So, like, we should be able to send the volunteers at the very minimum, but whatever. Counselor? Hmm. Democracy. Kaiser. I kind of want the Kaiser back. Free suffrage. That's not bad. Free vote. I do like the extra population, though. Even though more political power gain. I mean, it's, it's it's pretty similar to base game. Eventually, you run out of uses for political power. I kind of want the Swamp Germans, though. Frisian, Dutch, and Flandarian form the group that we playfully call Swamp Germans. They're very much like us, even though their German sounds like a drunk combination of English and German with a harsh dialect. We should celebrate a culture connection as well and pursue common goals together. I'm not sure how, mu how much power that by allying them that will give us, but... <clears throat> That's okay. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Make more divisions, though. Over here. Let's actually edit you. We gotta get some really thick mountaineers. Here you go. Oh, they're not thick, but we will make them thick eventually. Support arty. Grab some field hospitals. Grab some... Hmm. I want more tanks, but that'd probably be a waste. We got plenty of motorized for that. And engineers. There you go. We have been making more divisions, if you look. They're all equal now down here, so that's pretty good. Swamp Germans, Scandinavian Cousins. The Nordic nations are rich in resources and a target of Soviet ambitions. Together we shall secure the seas and bring stability and prosperity to the Germanic countries. Now, I wonder what's going to happen here. Like, Gross Deutsche Bund is nice. But after this, Land Purchase. Nordschleswig. Oh, that's not bad. I kind of like that. That's 14 days? Not bad. Denmark gets Land Purchases, minus 30% consumer goods for 3 years. Holy cow. And we get 2% for 180 days. That's not bad. We should propose uh, a peaceful trade agreement to our smaller northern ally. What might be a small sum for us could mean years of debt-free investments in exchange for a small patch of land for them. Now, I can't do that yet. Anglo-German friendship. They must feel threatened, which is fine. And we still got to do the stuff on the left side of the tree, which is totally okay as well. Oh, we need to invite the Dutch, yes. The mighty Dutch. Panzers, well. Go and do that one. Less than 100 days, so that's pretty good. And... Becomes a field marshal. Uh, yeah, I was gonna fight them. Actually, yeah, earlier they are pretty thick. So today, representatives of the Netherlands and Deutsche Bund have met in Brandenburg to ceremoniously sign several treaties that regulate cooperation and mutual military assistance. The meetings conclude with the symbolic handshake of Henricus Kolgin and August von Mackensen. Very good. So at this point, we're probably gonna have to just guard the entire front line, which is fine as long as they attack us like crazy. I'm totally okay with that. Scandinavian cousins. Hopefully Sweden too. Alright, so here as Counselor's cool and all, but I kinda want Daddy Kaiser back, so we won't be completely German uh, well complete we will be completely Germanic, but Kaiser, I think so. A semi constitutional monarchy is a key. The position of the Kaiser should be the most powerful one. The Kaiser is more immune from interest and influence from the outside due to his position and patriotism. It's yet unclear which royal bloodline shall take the throne. Mackinson, however, clearly advocates a return of the Hohenzollern dynasty. Yes, please. Ooh, more tanks that are probably going to get pierced. Ah, so be it. I'm so sorry, Italy. I should not have done that, but, you know, it is what it is. That, yeah, that's pretty unfair that everyone gangs up on them. And yeah, I could have cho chosen the other decision here, but whatever. Mm -mm. Actually, you guys are part of the new army. New theater. There we go. Kaza Vav. It's time to decide on the matter who shall become the next gods for the boon, and therefore all Germans. Our nations have a long history of nobility, and there are civil lines which will have enough prestige to qualify for such a role. It's not yet to find whether this role will be hereditary or not. There are three houses who hold more power or who held more power and three houses who have held significant but lesser power. Which candidate should we consider? Also have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and uh, energized. House of Prussia, Austria, and Bavaria. The House of Hanover, Württemberg, Saxony. I gotta go with the bigger houses. Which are the greater houses? Which royal house shall provide the next Kaiser? Von Hohenzollern, the former rulers of German of Prussia and the German Empire. Von Habsburg. Ooh, that's kinda cool if we could get the Habsburg. Empire Builder. Just five world goals times goes down by twenty five percent, but unfortunately we're still democracy, so that means nothing. Imperial Connections, though, that's not too bad. Von Wittelsbach, the kings of Bavaria. Oh, that's not... That's interesting. 
to do as well. Anti-communist. Go back. Oh, we can go back. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to do Von Hohenzollern, but I want to see which ones. So, Von Hanover, deal broker. A princess of Great Britannia and Ireland. That could be cool if we could get them with us. Von Wettenberg. Retired officer, not bad. Von Vetten. Well, I think I gotta go with Von Hohenzollern. So we'll go with that, but the House of Hohenzollern has three possible candidates. The old emperor, the crown prince, and the young grandson who originally lost his succession right by secretly marrying a girl from a lower noble house. Oh, handsome gentleman. Cause of Wilhelm II. Uh, headstrong. Um, that's not bad. Uh, autocratic imperialist. Crown Prince Friedrich Wilhelm. The Legitimus. His grandson Friedrich Wilhelm. Inexperienced monarch. Um, ooh. Actually, can I go back? Kaiser Val. Uh, let's go let's see here. So, what do you do? Oh! Oopsie. Well, um, von Habsburg. Hmm. I don't know if I really want that one. Let's see. Well, everyone, I mean, we could do von Habsburg, but <sighs> Empire Builder's nice and all. I don't know. For this, I, I feel pretty strong about getting Kaiser Wilhelm II. I mean, I clicked on uh, the von Habsburg thinking that we could go back. I thought that there might be something a little bit more than just Otto here, but apparently not. Von Wittelsbach, I think for this campaign, I think I'm just going to choose Kaiser Wilhelm II. He's got so many things there, so many traits that I like about him. He's also autocratic. That's not bad. Free suffrage. Well, with the personality of the Kaiser Wilhelm II, I think i got to go with census suffrage. Our society cannot afford to give a useless drunk the same voting rights as well as, it is, as a well-deserved member of society. Everyone receives 0 to 3 votes based on their tax contribution, 0 to 2 votes for the military and social service time, and 0 to 2 votes based on their education degree. This way, we can make sure that every vote is earned, that those who are qualified and do good for society are rewarded. It is what it is, you know. Oh. Hello, Friedrich Wilhelm II von Hohenzollern. Hohenzollern. I might be saying that wrong. But hey, at least the cost goes down for everything. Nice, until he dies, of course. Which is not a good thing, but hey, you know, what happens, happens. Alright, oh, we can invite- oh, we can just invite them all. Uh, sure. Except, the, well, they're already in our faction, I'm pretty sure. Norway joins the European Vanguard. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. I mean, this is all the same exact thing, so. Oh, we made it from the battleship, nice. Not bad. Let's take a look at the faction. Central Europe is looking pretty darn strong. Sense of suffrage, very nice. Oh, and yeah, Portugal. Traditions, reforms. <clears throat> I think we've got to go with traditions here. Our institutions must teach our heritage. Let them let them tell stories of our exploits and show off our splendor for our history is rich and our dreams unbroken. Yeah, we're actually looking like a very strong power, actually, just because we're all united and we even have, you know, Iceland and Greenland and those are very powerful states, as you do know. I just hope the Allies go to war with the Comintern first, because Spain, France, Italy, as well as the Soviet Union, that's that's a big bunch. Also, I did divide up the, the guys around here, too, so. That'll be good. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, go build these guys up first. At this point, I want two things on military factors and one thing on this at the same time, so. Oh, uh, Republican Italy. No. It's almost 1939, though, so. Get more output. Four days left for this. It's not bad. Oh, traditions, though. Traditions, the Gross Deutsche Bund. A standard reform of the Confederation into a federal entity which will be formally known as the Gross Deutsche Bund, representing the ideals and borders of the 1848 proposed Greater German Solution. We should also think about making Frankfurt our new capital in memory of the 19 1848 Nation Assembly and the location of the Bundestag of the First Bund from 1815 to 1866. Way more division training time. Oh god, no. Planning speed minus 95%. Moves capital Hessian? This might lead to a communist reaction. Uh, well, that's not good then. Let's grab some better guns though. If that's the case, I want to make a land purchase first. Yeah, I think I've already read this, so... There we go. I don't think we're really ready for a big old land war, not gonna lie. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Especially with these soldiers. I mean, I don't think the Soviets are ready for the land war either. Far Eastward. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, they've got a lot of things over there. Uh, if that's the case, I don't mind doing that. Let's go back over here first, because I've ignored some of this stuff. Should we do the USSR? Armor technology? Medium tanks? I don't get books. Well, I've got 70 days, though. We'll allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's car through a savings scheme, which in turn will use to finance construction of these factories that eventually contribute to building these cars. 
Uh, this stuff is... Oh, I forgot to get... Uh, that extra research slot. Oh, my bad. But we still have four. Four is pretty good. Five is... I would say overkill, but... Still. What? Still. I wish there was a way for us to integrate these guys. Maybe there is. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, so we did a lot of this stuff. Monarchist Media Mogul. Daily support, support for... Where do we get more daily democracy support? And we are mobilizing more, which is really nice. Military, political advisor cost. Yeah, real politics is not bad. Operative slots. Uh, clamped on a fascism. A fascist moose. Uh, regulations. Daily time support goes down. Wait, how are we getting more daily democracy support? Ideology drift defense. I must have already passed it or something. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you to change other parties? Well, I don't know if we can change because the absolutist party is not aligned. So I don't know. Hmm. We didn't really get that much else here, huh? Oh, economists. That's efficiency cap five percent. That's not much. Reset free elections. And eh, we could have done that, I suppose. Yeah, we could have done all that stuff. But I guess since there's not much else, we're industrialist. Construction three. Nice. Uh, early ship holes. Nah, that's already good enough. Don't even bother about the, about the Panzer ship. That's a heavy cruiser. Don't bother with those, really. I should probably bother with them sometime, though. Alright, not bad. This is pretty good. We can't make any other ships because the destroyers are trying to finish up, but that's okay. Try to get as much naval XP as we possibly can for now, too. Oh my gosh. 70 day focuses. Oh, you pain me so much. Italian Union. This is reminding me of Fuhrerreich a little bit right now. With Italian Union and uh, the French com commune doing stuff. Oof. I've, I've not played Fuhrerreich in a long time. Good. Do you have anything else? No. Our generals. Because I had to reload the save. Just to get Daddy Wilhelm. Uh, von Klug. Here's Manic might not be bad. Monstein. Monstein is just so good. Monstein lover? Yeah, you might call me that, maybe. Monstein did nothing wrong. <coughs> Aha. Go on both of you train. Do you have anything else here? Not too much. We got enough carrier stuff for carrier ships and such, but we don't have carriers. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. We have four capital ships. We need way more screens on that thing. Um, ooh, Volkswagen is almost done, which would be really good for building more stuff. But, you know, whatever. Alright, I guess we'll finally do... Oh, I don't want... Communist reaction? Oh, let's go, let's go and do this. It's only 42 days. Let's enjoy our, the fruits of our labor. Hmm. Economist. I don't want ever choose economist, so I'm actually kind of okay with doing that then. And since we can't choose anyone else... Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're pretty much going to stay democratic. So This would not be, actually be bad either. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. And, you know what, let's get William Canaris. Why not? Do we even have any agents? Do we make the thing? Yeah, we did. That's good. So the common stuff. Uh, I I could have demanded more territory from Poland actually if I was a little bit more aggressive with that. I guess so. I guess the next time if I ever play this mod again, I will demand more stuff from Poland. So yeah. But you know that's good to know. I mean, this is my first time literally just playing this mod, so it is what it is. Uh, someone recommends I play as Romania in the New Ways mod. I've heard of New Ways. I've actually looked at it a little bit. Um, I'm not opposed to that. I there's just with my schedule, I usually like try to maintain one World World Blues campaign at a time. Now, now since TNO came out, TNO came out like late 2020 or medium to late 2020, I, I always have one campaign on TNO just because I love the mod so much. Um, so, and then I usually reserve a third campaign for like anything else, like this mod. Uh, Re Red World, stuff like that, so we'll see. I mean, there's no guarantee, but if you keep reminding me about it, then I probably will. The Gross Switch Bund. It's time to solidify the pan German idea by consolidating all members of the Bund into a more homogeneous new system. It'll take time to work everything out and equalize the different sectors, laws, and structures. It might be a long road, but the end waits a golden future. Maggots and visions of a renewed and complete Germany is finally unified. Let the celebrations begin. Oh my goodness. A new flag. People are not gonna like this. Nice. A new flag. The Bund never encompassed Switzerland before. Should we keep the historical flag of 1815 to preserve con continuity or create a new design? We can choose a combination of traditional insignias and colors or unite all flags into one with an equal space. 
Oh, God. Okay, so you know what I like about this mod? Even though there's, like, grammatical mistakes and such like that, that's totally okay, because this mod actually gives you options to go back if you don't like your choice, usually, as well as it literally shows you what flag design there are. That's something that a lot of mods do not do, I think. So I think I appreciate, if the devs are watching, I appreciate that you do this. So I, I don't like this. That gives equal representation to everyone, and as cool as that is, Switzerland does not, and Luxembourg do not have as much representation or as as much power as Austria and Germany. So, I kind of like the old design, I'll be honest. So, and this is not bad either. I kind of like this too, which makes a lot of sense and it's really cool, but I like the old design. And also that makes it so that I don't have to make different thumbnail backgrounds. But, hey, whatever. Oh, my, oh, actually, that's really, really good. We got more divisions. Um, how are you guys looking? It's not bad. Oh, that's going to hurt us, isn't it? Um, I'm going to convert you guys to the Mountaineers I made. So there you go. And you four go right... Uh, go right there. Why not? Nice. And let's see. You guys are even worse. You're the Mountain Germans. And you guys go right there. And then you guys... That's awesome that we actually unified everyone here. Everyone else, I don't really care. So let's go change the infantry. And I'm going to do... I don't like this border I have with the Soviets, so I'm going to boost them up a little bit. But actually, the rest of you guys are actually going to be under a new administration. Well, not new administration. Oh, gosh, you got... Hey, oh, I love Carl Egelseer. I love him. I don't know. I forgot he was Austrian. I thought he was just regular German. But he's Austrian with a twist. Because now we got to do this as... Well, actually... Hmm. No, it's got to be a big old... I wish we could make one big old front line. That's fine. Uh, luckily, these are mountains. And we finally got more factories. So we actually finally have Austria under us, too. So you guys go there. For now. So all this goes up. Oh my goodness. I don't I don't want to even look at all this garbage. Not even going to bother with it. Alright, next focus. Uh, restructure the armed forces or address civilian matters. Well, building projects. Social justice. I love social justice. Don't quote me on that. Really, don't quote me on that. Uh, now that the boon has been reformed into a new entity, it's time to shift our attention towards civilian matters. Actually, Social Justice is a magazine, if you never knew about that, by Ch Father Charles Coughlin, uh, back in the late 30s in America, so... I love Social Justice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm waiting for someone to, like, make a video of me taking everything out of everything I say out of context, especially when I say stuff in Victoria 2. Oh boy, I can't wait for that. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Go with... Those, and then boom, 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 boom. We're going to need a lot of that. And just way more factories all around. And then once we run out of space, we're going to make more infrastructure. There you go. Not bad. Uh, a new operative. Hit the guy, Groff. Very good. Uh, finally, more factories. What do we need? We need way more artillery, which is totally fine. Let's boost it up by t to 25. Guns are looking amazing. Wow. Carrier plans are fine. Screw it. We'll go to 30 on this. we got a few more factories. We're going to go with more of this and then that. There you go. That should be pretty good for our entire army. Uh, tanks are not bad. I'm actually going to go do this. Let's go two at a time. And resource-wise, since we have more factories, I'm going to go ahead and do what we need. Sorry, Turkey. Don't eat your stuff anymore. But I do love what we're looking at. Here. Um, this is beautiful. I love that the mod developer actually made this almost a solid front line, or a solid diagonal line. That is just... Good job, mod developer. I I really appreciate what you've done with the mod. <laughs> uh, Dutchies Indies. Oh, wait. We annexed. We didn't annex them, but okay, that's not bad. I love this. The growth Deutscher Bund. I mean, yeah, I could have gotten Nissan and stuff, more stuff under us, but whatever. All right, I am a little worried that people might go to war this soon. I'm going to grab anti-air upgrades. That's pretty good. I'm going to go with 24. Because we need... And we got all that manpower now. Oh, my goodness. That's so nice. Yeah, that didn't hurt us at all. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and increase this by a whole lot more. To get this done more quickly. There you go. 24, 24. I mean, we are making something thick. Thick booty divisions. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're... This is what we should make in Victoria, too. Well, maybe not Poland. Maybe not Hungary, either. God. Oh, it's just... Bulgaria. Okay, they reformed and just became Bulgaria. Oh, Nikola Mushanov. I actually played this once. When Battle for the Bosphorus came out, I actually played as, I think, Democratic Bulgaria, I think it was. And they just... 
started asking stuff about technocratic issues or ideas just because I want to get to the research slot. We should further dismantle the artificial borders that have been established to hold the people back. Everyone shall be equally judged by his talents and, propose and potential. Let's start by making education and universities free and regardless of gender and other trivial things. Wow, look at that peepee. -pee. Look at that peepee. -pee. Uh, yeah, I don't like... 10% carrier deck size is not bad. It's not that bad, but... Jamania Veft is pretty good. We got infantry, um, recovery rate, um, uh, pair drop, naval defense, fleet logistics, anti subs, armor is almost oh, universally good to get. Ah, more dockyards. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to look at this stuff. Integrate East Frisia. Oh, yeah. Integrate Spa. Oh, yeah. I think someone did say get try to get back. Princess Victoria as a general, or let them leave the country. That's why I went with the Hollenzollen path. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, I, I really don't know. <laughs> so, let's see. You guys are not terrible. And there's room for improvement here, which I do like. Fire control zero. Do we have, At least we have radar one. That's nice. Cruiser engines two. And I've been training enough naval XP so we can get some of this. That's good. Uh, I did make sure that we get level two for this. Rapid fire guns. Thank you. Torpedoes. You know what? Uh, actually, I guess... Level 2 torpedoes, you know what, we can use that too. Now, we don't have any anti-sub stuff, which is a big no-no in my book. So, we're going to grab this. And then we're going to grab some destroyers, maybe as well, because they do have anti-sub. And I actually am a huge proponent of more anti-sub. Uh, torpedo launchers, those are fine. Grab some of that. Rapid fire stuff. Get some more radar. Actually, no. Get sonars. Not bad. That's actually not too bad. More carriers, please. Schallenholst. Well, we're not really focused on them too much. Uh, construction 3 is not bad either. Not bad either. Not looking too bad around here. Are there, oh, it's actually about... You know, I never use battle cruisers. Let's use them. That's good enough for me. Uh, level 1 is not great, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Construction. 39. Let's grab some more extraction. That always is always good to do. Uh, if it's if it's five or above for deficit, or I guess technically lower, I'm always just going to grab more rubber, or you know any resource really. Hey, at least we got a southern port. That's not bad. Uh, let everyone train if they need to as well. Hopefully these guys will hold against Italians. I want to get the French first. Hopefully, uh, technocratic ideals. Not bad. Let's do that, and then boom. And equal opportunity. Equality of opportunity. Now that we've dismantled the barriers of race, religion, and money, we can find, find, refine in the raw and untapped potential of almost 100 million mines. Actually, we should see what our population's like. Mechanized offensives? Yes, please. You know, eventually, I, I think I, I do want to try to use mechanized in this campaign with... Actually, that doesn't make sense. I'm using light tanks with mechanized. Does that make any sense? Probably not. That's okay. And does this cost any fuel to make? Like in TNO. I hope not. And we'll do one more focus and we'll call it an episode then. Because I actually have to go attend other matters, we shall say. Anti-air upgrade. Well, it is 39. Better entrenchment because we're going to definitely need that. But let's go ahead and read the next one. Economic potential. How do we do this? We need Jewish relations reconciled. Building projects. Oh, why not? Oh, we must adjust our industry as well as our short and long term so that they align with what we need most. Let's create some plans for a variety of situations. That actually sounds like a really smart thing to do. It's So I don't know when the war is going to start. I mean, I, I don't think we're going to go to war, but maybe we will. Italian operative captured. Ah, we have ways of making you talk, Italian operative. Very good, very good. Limited work hours. Oh, boy. Six hour workday, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we shall. Well, of course, we have a fifth research slot, but probably go to war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.